Rob here. Now, in this video, we're going to look at the Component 3 Cross Media Production cover sheet. So, you have to complete this and hand it in with your project when it's submitted to the exam board. But we're going to do as much of this as we can now. So, what we're going to do is we're going to fill this in and then you need to put it in your homework submission folder so that I can check it. So, we're going to fill in as much of this as we can. First thing you need to do is put your name in here. Now, it should be surname, comma, first name, and any other names. So, it would be, say, blogs, Joseph, Barry, what the hell not, blogs, right? In here, you put your candidate number. Okay, this is the four digit long number on your ID card next to where it says candidate number. Not the one with all the zeros at the beginning, that is your college ID number. So find your candidate number, I know, do a random one. Right, so you put your candidate number in there. Right, I've already done that bit for you, I've already done this bit for you. In here, title of your cross media production. This is going to be the name of your magazine. Put whatever one you come up with for now in there. We can change it later. Chosen genre or subgenre. So you're all doing a lifestyle magazine. What you need to do is then explain what the specific subgenre of your lifestyle magazine is. Is it um, aimed at, you know? 18 to 35 year old aspirers you're all doing but is it aimed at men is it aimed at women whatever okay right in this section here this is where I have to sign off to say that you completed all of the various stages of your project now the first one was this week and you had this list of things you had to submit by Friday the 25th so you should all have done that it should all be in your um, homework submission drive I will check it and I will sign it off when it's done so basically I will put my signature in there as a digital document you essentially need to be doing the same so what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to use the notes app on your phone to write your signature and then you need to put it into the section there where it says candidate signature so what you want to do is write it on your phone app save it either upload it to your OneDrive or email it to yourself whatever you then need to open it in Photoshop delete the background out of it save it as a .png file and insert it into here. I will do a second video showing you how to do that. If I'm happy with it, I will also sign it there. So you need to do that one and that one. When you finish your statement of aims and intentions, you will sign it, I will sign it. We're going to do it all digitally, that way we're not using any paper, no COVID risk. Software packages, I've already filled this in. If you intend using any other software packages to work on your project, or if you go into lockdown and use something else at home, you can replace those. In here, this will give any details of any non-material, uh, non-original material you've used in the project. Leave that blank for now. Eventually, when we finally finish the project, which will be the beginning 14th of December, you will hand it in, you will sign it to say it's your work, you will date it. Now this week we are doing the Statement of Aims and Intentions, which is 500 word long. We'll be doing this either in class or via Teams, whatever the situation is. Again, you take your candidate name from there and you copy and paste it into here. You can do the same with your candidate number into there. Right. Once you've written your statement of aims and intentions, which you're going to do in Word, you copy and paste it into here. 
You then do a word count on it by highlighting everything you have written and right pressing F7. And it will give you a word count. No, it doesn't know, it's a spell count. Are you a word count? Oh, it's down there now, isn't it? 843 words. So you would type in however many words it was, right? Right, now, that's the next stage. So cut and paste that into there at the end of the lesson. Make sure it fits in that box. If you have to change the size of the font, change the size of the font. And please do it all in Arial so it can fit and it's all nice and neat. And it looks like everything else on here. Right, I will then mark it. Okay, again, copy your candidate number and name into these boxes. I've already done this bit for you. Right, um, this is where I mark it. So you can leave all this blank. Um, I have assigned that and dated it when I ha hand it in. This bit over here, again, cut and paste your name into there and your candidate number. Put your signature in there. That date will be 14th of the 12th. Well, probably be 18th of the 12th because that's the, the day that um, we break up. All right. In here, you put the names of any people who helped you with your project and type it same pattern you've done there surname first name and initials whatever so they go in there and then you need to put their signatures in here they need to do their signatures the same way as you did on the phone and then the date goes in there if anyone has declined permission to he says, I'm over 13, I give permission my film or photographing image to be used according to the point. Deal and section D above. So, if they don't agree with any of that, you can take it. If you don't want WJC to use your work for commercial or sort of like, well, not commercial, for like sort of like um, teacher training, all this kind of stuff, you take that. It's a. Oh, right, okay. I thought it was a checkbox. Um, okay, what you can do is, why can't I find in that? Um, right, so what you can do, you can go. 2714 hold on alt press x and that turns out into a tick and you can just copy and paste that into that's not a box this it is there we go into there do that and that clever right so that's how you do that okay right fill as much as you can in make sure you save it in your work submission folder and when it's done, I will mark it and get back to you. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a digital signature using an IOS device. So the first thing you need to do is find your notes. Okay, so click on that. Then you need to go to New, which is the bottom right. Click on the pen icon. And then choose a pen. I would probably go something a bit thinner than that. Let's try that one. And then you draw yourself a signature. Right? Save it. Okay? Then you can send it to yourself like that, but I would screenshot it by holding down the... Well, on my phone, you have to hold down the... Um, the button and the on off button at the same time it might be different on newer ones okay having done that give it a crop save to photos you then need to upload that to your OneDrive or email it to yourself then you want to use Photoshop to get rid of the background so having downloaded your image It'll be in your download folders. So you need to have opened Photoshop and then you're going to need to go to File and you're going to need to go to Open. Go to your download folder. Mine's already open. Double click on your picture. This looks like this. Now, first thing we're going to need to do is make sure we've selected the Move tool. Then go down here to your layer palette. Now this is locked we can't do anything with it because of the background so you want to take this little padlock here left click and hold and drag it into the dustbin now 
we need to select this background to get rid of it. Now to make sure that we're able to do that, I would come down here, I would right click, convert to a smart object, then right click again, rasterize layer. That should allow us to change it. Let's go up here to image, make sure that where it says mode is RGB color, which it is, so we're okay. Right, now we then need to go to select color range. Select, using the eyedropper tool, the background. OK. And then we press delete, and the background disappears. Now, we need to deselect this now. So we go to select, deselect, which you can see is Control and D for short. Right, now, we can crop off some of this background. So we'll use the crop tool over here. I'm going to keep this as tight as possible, like that. There we go. Press Enter. Good. Now we're going to save it. So we're going to go to File, Save As, save it wherever you want to, wherever's appropriate for you. I'm going to save it back in the download folder. But down here, instead of Photoshop, we're going to click on this. And we're going to go down to ping or dot png. This will give us a transparent background. Hit OK. Save. OK. There you go. Jobs are good. Enough. In your download folder, wherever you saved it, you will now have a picture that's transparent that you can put into your cover sheet. So what you need to do is find wherever you saved your cover sheet. Um, and then where it says candidate signature, go insert picture from this device, find where you put that, the downloads in my case, pick the one as a .png, it's a bit big, so let's make it smaller like that, good, okay? And then all we've got to do is Control C to copy, Control V to paste, Control V to paste, Control V to paste, Control V to paste. Yeah? Easy as that. Although these ones are cutting off the bottom of that a little bit, so I might actually go to the extent of making it a bit smaller. Like this. And then do that. And you need to put this wherever you'll need a signature. So, in there, in there, yeah. Uh, yes, that's all you need to do. Same principle when your people who appear in your video or in your magazine or whatever you've done, they need to put print their name there, and you do the same job as you just done on your own for theirs to fill into there. Okay, there you go, easy as that. See you in the next one.